Jihad for Persia. The Sunni Caliph, Caliph Mansur um, the second has decided to declare jihad on the depraved heathens in the Shaddam of Persia. He urges all righteous Sunni Muslims to partake in a righteous struggle against the Empress Siena for the glory of Islam. Allah is great. Or so was written for them. It will be two arms, uh, even though we've already raised our armies and we're fighting against raiders at the moment. Some would say that we're ill-equipped to fight a war like that. Not only ill-equipped, but we're not doing good financially because we already raised our troops. There's some furious peasants in Samarkand which has not recovered since the recent peasant revolt. So we're in for quite a bit of strife here. Again, a high tax thing will go away in a few months, but not the peasant unrest, so we could slow it down. But the reinforcement will be lowered. So we'll switch it. And we're going to need some more help. As far as, you know, converting others to uh, Zoroastrianism. And look, you could help us, even though you're in the middle of a war with other people. And there's hardly any other Zoroastrians out there. Well, there's one Cognate that is Zoroastrian. And another one, but they're currently being raided, so it won't matter. So it's us, uh, them, them. And, uh, who else? Oh, and do not forget the Karan shot him, which they got a good number of troops. But unfortunately, I'm rivals with that man, whom we're trying to, to assassinate right now. So we can get rid of him, and then his son, and then this goes into our empire, as he will inherit that, since he's third in line. So we're basically uh, showing ourselves as a foot here. Oh, and I guess they'll come too, but it's quite a long way since they're the only Zoroastrians of India as far as uh, we know. Yeah, he's the only Zoroastrian in India. Again, this is the war that we have the most to lose because Persia is a home of three holy sites. We cannot afford to lose any of them. So we'll raise the local levies down there first and we'll get the rest from the north. I'm glad there's still a presence of, of Kotan there. So just meet up in Esfahan and just use it as a defense. Even though the Zagros Mountains is a good defensible position. But the problem is, Persia is a wide front. Yeah, it's all mountains. Again, the Arabian Empire has not joined the, the Jihad yet, but they will in a second. While our battle with the raiders will start in a few days, and after we take care of them, raise the rest. But I think we can get something here. And soon afterwards, um, in about two months' time, we will have positive prestige. you got to get to, to prestige 50 to start revoking titles. Because, you know, we're trying to revoke this guy and that guy. I have them both under house arrest so they remain healthy. And soon we're going to arrest that man. And the reasons why I want them to revoke, not only for the domain size, but the resources. These are good, valuable resources when we get yearly. And hopefully this will hold them off for a while. Including the uh, soak trade is stable now. And uh, we have a trade governor, which we're getting good income, but unfortunately, these furious peasants just are not having it. 
We'll raise up the rest of the levy soon. We just have to get those raiders out of the way first. Okay, just, just, just wondering. Like if you are not in harm's way because of raiders there. In fact, raise the rest. They're around this summer camp, anyhow. We'll get together again and we'll meet them. So you lot are the first line of defense. You're going over there too. <sighs> Got our first offer to join the war. Anyone is welcome. Even if our rival would join, despite our <laughs> differences. Whatever is the quickest way to start my count, I guess. Yeah. A couple of sheiks and emirs are joining. Again, it's a big empire. There's a lot of cities. And I hope these guys don't join, but they're in the middle of another war here against them, which no doubt they'll make short work of it. Because these guys are the strongest contributor to this empire. I guess the Zikri uh, revolt was not successful, unfortunately. And I sometimes wish the uh, Shia Caliph, although he doesn't have much troops, once he deals with these revolts, then maybe he can declare jihad against them, not us. Just something to get these Sunnis off our backs. We are ill prepared for this type of scenario, but it's happening. Now the Empire has joined. We're badly outnumbered. Because the sheiks and emirs will contribute to it. Oh, damn it. What are you waiting for? Tell you what, once we assassinate your father, will you join us? Just wondering. Continue to ransom the rest. Ah, oh, that's why. I thought he converted to Zoroastrian, but I guess not. As I said, just please, anything to help us. Just calling to help with anyone. It must be one of the smaller ones, right? Oh, it's the neighbor. All right. Any help is appreciated. Best of luck to you. Even though our moral authority isn't our best, but if we manage to defeat them, the moral authority will go way up. Mind you, some of the areas in Persia well, Kurdistan in particular are not very populated. So if we were to defend, here would be more likely. This is plains, this is mountains, desert. We'll figure out our defense. Again, they have way more than we do. These guys are not joining us because we antagonized them. Hey, sorry about this. It's it's just the dirty, dirty business we we do, right? 
sorry I had to come this way. Why are you so timid about joining the plot? You were, and then you're not. Despite the fact that I gave you money. And what do we have to make up for our lack of troops? We have holy warriors. And plenty of them too. Yeah, here comes their first armies. So. Okay. When are you arriving? Three days. You will be the first to engage. Tenth of February, right? You're a day late. We'll be leading here. Yeah, bring up our best. We'll meet them down there in, in Kozistan. No river crosser between that and Avaz, which we're going to be coming down from. So we'll have our first strike against them. As everybody continues to um, get together, while the larger army will soon be coming. So everybody's formed Samarkand, and that's when it will move, and then there'll be more additional reinforcements by different means. They'll have the desert, but. We have the courage. As I said, this is our first strike. No river crossing, but we'll take the desert. That's the Sultan of Egypt. Yeah, he's one of the commanders. If we can capture him, good. Keep him under house arrest. We'll arrest him after the war. Get back up to the mountains. Stay up there. Don't go to these areas. It's too depopulated. I mean, they could take these holdings, but that's just a part of a larger story. Well, are you coming? He is, but... Where are, oh, you're over there. Look, I'm sorry. Can we... Can you help us? You know, so what have we done here? And that old spy master of theirs won't go away. Even if we try to sway him, I doubt he'll even live to 80. Reinforcements will be on the way. Keep calm. And if you see any Abbasid Emirate troops, that's the main target. He's the one responsible for this, but his own troops, however, not very much, and he's hired so some mercenaries, which he's going to have them for a while. And he's not leading in battle. I mean, wish we would capture the, the Caliph. Since I've already antagonized the Shah, why don't I start antagonizing him? Assassinating him won't stop it. And he's into intrigue too, and... I was about to say, yeah. Doing any other stuff is out of the question. You're just gonna have to fight, duke it out. 
We got our best troops brought now. Even though we're not even at full strength, that's another thing. From the domain. I got it. Split the retinue. Going after him. You old a lot. Alright, bring on the holy warriors. Well, they may have the mounts with their troops, but the holy warriors will do more of will do more damage against them, hopefully. If the plan doesn't work, then we're in for a long one. Two of them are going to Kozistan, Abbasid and Najapit. Movement's locked. We're coming down now. Continue to meet up at Hesfahan and we'll put up a defensive position in Loristan, possibly Hamadan, but... Again, this is going to be the main front line from Kurdistan to Shiraz. That's what I'm listing it as. Anything beyond that, or say from the Southern Pass, no. wouldn't, wouldn't dream of it. Just hope for some big revolt that'll happen. In fact, I, I should antagonize him. He's the one that I've been taking designs with. Um, and I can use my intrigue to um, cause a bit of unrest in his realm. And hopefully that'll get his huge support troops off of us. And make the war easier. Use your intrigue. Not the war focus. Deception is another, uh, what's that quote? You know what I mean, right? Oh yeah, I should stop spying on that guy since we already got what we want. Since you're already on your way to Esfahan. There'll be more reinforcements on the way, I promise you. Not just friendlies, but some from our own, which may cost us a little. They haven't taken a single holding yet, but they will in a second. And we're about to make another fight against them. Who should I spy next? That's what I had in mind. I need to keep my intrigue skill up. By the way, everybody has a positive view towards me because... Defending versus infidels. Although, start looking at me more positively now. Which, unfortunately, I'm still an amateur schemer. Now, I want to... I mean, I would love to find somebody who has a lot of money. Derek Pettiker and Shadam. Come here. Because we found another way to make money, even though it's kind of... Again, we're looking for characters that are not landed, but holds a lot of money. That's another one we'll bring. Ooh, he's the heir. Okay. Leave him alone. You know what? I think the ones who hold money are the ones with claimants. I think. But well, we can't invite them over. Like anybody with a dynasty. Because, you know, some of them may be former rulers and I took a lot of their money with them. Like that man. And he's an imbecile. Oh, this is easy. Finding creative ways of how to keep the income going. Well, it's not an income, but we're just taking money from them. Confiscating. That's what that is. We are confiscating from them. Sp 
big enough count for skating. Your turtles are... Oh, I forgot we let you out. Because I was going to revoke that turtle too. But anyways, that land is mine now, so it means additional troops. But most importantly, a resource that we can make more money on. Especially an important one. You ain't going to be happy with this, but you'll still like me because of Dependent versus Infidels. Put the Tokarian man in. Put up a spy now. We're going to get rid of this guy. I will not kill his son yet because he's going to be the one to join the war. Hopefully. To join us on our defense. Now I will spy on you so we can get that money. You're going to be next, after that. Anything that's good with Intrigue. Hello there. Oh, and for a while, uh, be the Administrative Tutor if anybody needs your knowledge. As you make a little bit of coin and then you're arrested. Speaking of arrests, um, celibate warrior, huh? Can't recruit you. Now we can. Go up to Luristan. So that way we can attack them from the north as they're going up. I'm just going to run parallel with them. Oh, this is the worst place to be up here, but we told them to reinforce slower because we're not making a lot of money. Yeah, it's going to be fighting up in the mountains. And river crossing penalty. But I hope you being holy warriors will do a lot of damage against them. Still there. Oh, you're the one responsible. You put him there. Where are we now? It's enough plot power to begin assassinations, but why isn't? He's a black sheep of the family. His spy network is compromised. This is a perfect time. for the revolt. Don't mind that. I wish the vassals of mine would join us. This may be a bad idea, but it could work. This is up to the holy warriors. old man. Right, done another victory, but get the hell out of the country. <laughs> Severe depopulation of Kurdistan. You don't want to be there. Now we got to hurry up and take those guys out before they give a uh, time to regroup. Get the Holy Warrior. He's our flanker. Oh, you do well. Here's competent strategist as well. Because we don't want to give these guys time to group together. Because they're getting there now. And I know what this war is doing to us financially. And we have small allies. Not gonna like this, but it doesn't cost very much, so we'll be bringing 3,000 more. This is our only chance at this. Right. We can't get another one like that because it says it takes two years to refill. 
on July 11th, uh, no, 16th. On the 16th, once you arrive, then we'll put you in another position. As we'll continue to wait for the others. And more will be coming. Give me two warrior commanders. One, two. Hoochman, he's an unshakable leader. Extremely good at defense. Yeah, he's well needed. And him, he is a stampede leader. Oh, he's going to be great for the retinue. <laughs> one offense, one defense. I mean, I could bring one more, but... And then I would have no glory. You know, that means we can't raise an army anymore. But having more commanders doesn't hurt. You know what? Screw it. Get one more. Babak. Siege Master. Oh, yeah. Well, if we're over on the offensive, that's good. We're not putting you in the front lines just yet. But if we want to look for slightly better commanders that are able-bodied men, well, fortunately there's a shortage of that. Including ones that are yet to be experienced, but I'll get you in just in case. Alright? You might be needed, because I like that martial skill of 21. So the battle will begin on the 19th. It's going to be a, nearly a thousand more coming in. And it's plain, so it's even. We have the morale damage to do so. We could put a lot of damage to the enemy. And our Norseman here can do a lot of devastation against him since he's a holy warrior and he's a veteran. And he's got the sword, Knife of the Mountains. Which he would do better on the center, but no, I need to be in the center. So he will hold position, they will hold position in Hamadan. This army will find another defensive position, particularly here. Just to block them, keep them boxed in there while they deal with those up in Kurdistan. They won't go up to Dalem. That's not their objective. Surprising how Ardahan and I found ourselves debating theology during the visit. I suppose it was inevitable between two people of wildly different beliefs for spending such a long time together. I was honored by your visit. Again, I have to make him like me more than he does if he were to join that plot. Since, you know, I mean, he's not a Sunni, he's a Hawajite. Keep that in mind. He doesn't have long to live. Four different armies, and we're coming in in four days. I need that other holy warrior. There we go. It's just to get rid of the organizer. That's their best. He's a battlefield terrain master. Well, it's plain, so that could be a problem. Yeah, he's hurting my center a little, but our holy warriors are doing great. Oh, hell. Larger imperial armies. They came. Get everybody over here. We're outnumbered here. Oh, it's too late now. They just took us out swiftly. Defense positions now. We were outboxed here. We'll be retreating to Esfahan. That's our first serious defeat of this war.
That means they're going to start assaulting these holdings. Mm. Better stay up in the mountains. <laughs> Well, meanwhile, we'll have that man arrested and take the money. And that man better go down. There's some more potential plotters. Let's see. A eunuch. Court physician of Coruscant, of course. Just this once, alright? Just one little addition and that's it. No more. And don't know about going to the bounty board, because I know there's people with bounties in this large realm. As another way of making money, but... I'd rather do it my way, the intriguing way. These defenses are rather poor. There's no way we can beat them all the, uh, in separate armies. We have to be one army in order to defeat them. And there's going to be more and more pouring in. As these places are populated now. Recovered from the plague. So I sometimes wish these guys would help us out. If, if we didn't, you know... Actively just make him mad while he tries to make more friends. But uh, aren't you two already in that plot, by the way? Let me see all these characters. Appear to be. Yes. So that they are stuck in this wartime circumstance, they were Muslims and they only have themselves to blame. much. Yep, position selves here. But I mean, we can't let them take the rest of the holdings fast, although they will assault them. We have to defeat them on the plains. Fighting them in the mountains is going to be very hard. We need every troop available. There's going to be more and more coming. Right, look, we should have the numbers. It's just we need the courage. We need the we need the holy wars to defeat them. I'm glad none of our commanders got captured, right? Yeah, everyone's still here. Don't know. Should have brought Nana all, all along because. Okay, I think I found my strategy. Glad you're still alive, so get them moving fast. Time's running out. Obviously. Now that woman. Oh, by the way, I'm a schemer now. So I'm an experienced schemer, plotter, and shadowy puppet master. She's got plenty of money, and she has cancer. She's a known murderer, that's even better. That, what we have here, is a, uh, a fugitive. But it's not a righteous imprisonment, unfortunately, because, you know, that's none of our business. They're retreating. They're going to, um, Kozistan. 
but the only way it's safe down the Kozistan is through Arvaz. Arvaz. Where we can cross the river safely, but we'll be taking on desert terrain, and we know they're the masters of the desert. We're the masters of the steppe. And to some degree, the mountains. So come on. To Arvaz. Wait, some of them going to Arvaz. Who's going to Arvaz? The army of 2000 is going to Avaz. But they will stop the movement. And again, additional reinforcements will still be coming. We're not alone. Especially with you lot. We'll take these guys out of there first before they realize what we're up to. Make it quick. Arabat is a symbol of the party of mercenaries who ambushed the Shah um, disguised as highwaymen. Uh, catch in the middle of battle. Uh, in the middle of battle, I'll catch sight of a girl wearing the same color as I am. Just a uh, Time to notice the fierce expression on her face. When she is struck down, I feel a pang of guilt. Realize how much she reminded me of my daughter, uh, Shiraz. Must remember to tend to our wounded. I have it. She likes to dress up as a man. Oh, hell, they're coming. They're going to be there on the 26th, but the battle's not even over yet, so... Shoot, we made a mistake. Withdrawal, now. Big mistake. Get out. I'll keep antagonizing him. No, 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 I said retreat. We got him, but what cost? Let's just hope you let's just hope you'll join us despite the reduced levies, since we killed off a pretty good man, but Oh, this is worse. Not good. That's another serious defeat. Although we're still good in number, but we made a calculated mistake. We can't afford to make another mistake like that. From now on, you're all one army in the, uh, in Nesfahan. There's no way we can get them off the mountains now without them interfering. Idiots. Queen Mother of Persia, let's be friends. Okay, just wait for more. They're down in Kozistan. But reinforcements will be arriving momentarily. Come on, get it moving. And that disease is coming on down here. And the Karens will join us. Very good. We need all the help we can get, but they may be our last hope. Our 
remember. There is no cross between Vaz and, and Kozistan, as they've already occupied two holdings. Okay, we scared them into not moving this way. Oh, that's not much. We'll manage. Glad you joined us. Don't assassinate this boy, remember that. He could be our last hope. Yeah, we have to be one army now, just to defeat this main army. But again, they're the biggest contributor. Najibid Empire inside of this is 8,000 strong. They're the biggest contributor. So yeah, the Battle of Helen was our most serious defeat of the war. And let's just hope that this must never happen again. Although we can reinforce nicely if we stay in friendly territory, we this is going to be our priority. Keep enemies out, liberate any holdings. And additionally, uh, in fact, I think the southern front is going to be the most, you know, chaotic. This one up north, not much because of lack of supplies. They won't send their large armies up there. If they do, then that's stupid of them. Last chance. Let them leave. Because um, the ones that are moving to Sus will be there on the 5th of March. The battle will start on 4th of March. Just wait a few days. The movement will be locked uh, tomorrow. So wait two days. And you know what? Slow down on the, uh, the movement. Get the Holy Warriors out again. Him. Magni. This time, we're throwing every commander in there. The headhunter. I'd rather you. Actually, my husband should lead the center. Your position is fine. And who's. Ah, oh, Nana. The Elder Shield Maiden. She's still alive. <laughs> She's been around for most of the century. Ever since the reign of Ranissa and grandmother Nazgul. She's been around for a long time. Good to see her. Now, who else isn't? What are these retinues? Oh, no, no. We're replacing one of the commanders. Siege is not a priority right now. Who was that guy we brought recently? Oh, these guys. Yeah. Okay, look for a levy that has the most cavalry. But then again, it's this one. We're actually replacing it with him. Now, what levy should my husband lead? I mean, one of these other arcs, I guess. Turani Company, huh? That's our event spawn troops. Husband will lead this one. You're on a sign, so we'll put you there. You're not there, so we'll put you in. So 
come. That's what we're bringing. All these commanders. We're throwing everybody in there. Now it'll start on March 9th because we took the organizer away from us. So the two holder wars up front. Myself. I don't want to switch back to war because I want to be a master schemer. So I wouldn't have to worry much about spying on people. If we lose, then then we'll have to get the currents to link up with us. Coruscant to link up with us. This is all we have now. I'm sure there'll be small reinforcements on the way, but if we can't beat them, then nothing will. They may have the desert, which will do good for their cavalry, but most of their cavalry comes from the Empire. They got three over 3,000 light cavalry, one heavy, and a few uh, camel archers. Keep that in mind. Special troops for them is camel archers. They got plenty of cavalry and camels. But let's just hope our courage will, will make the best of them. Spent my hard earned money to get all of you here. And if this doesn't work, because this is our last offensive move, then we'll have to be on the defense and find the right positions to hold them. Well, this is our last chance. It's cozy time. First, let me deal with this man. There's more on the way. Oh, uh, you know, they're gonna go down there once this starts. They'll be there on 12th of March. Battle begins on 9th, and it's gonna take a few more days. And then they'll be reinforced. Oh boy. Sometimes I wish this jihad never happened, but this is what you get for taking all that territory. Now they're coming too, they noticed what we were doing. As I said, last chance. There's no better way of moving this locked. They'll be there on the 20th. They're going to Abbas. Oh, great. So now we're in a bit of a dilemma here. What if they're just going to take the long way around as the battle will be ongoing? These troops will be retreating by then. So far, so good. Who is that man? Captain of a Drakian band. Because that's the guy that's been holding the flanks. Well, these are mercenaries. Check that. Captain of Dracken Band. What Dracken Band? Those guys. And what do they consist of? Are these Drakens? Can't read them. And where will these additional troops come from? Ah, over there. And Kiva. Oof, I'm not going to deal with those. So they'll be there on the 28th, and this is still ongoing. They may have the desert, but no, no murder. Now we're putting pressure on this flank, and they're going to be leaving now.
better duelist than him. Right. Got him. Lost his eye for this. First real victory in a while. They're gonna stop moving. See? Now they're in the mountains and we can't get them off the mountains. Even if we try, but all these infantry up there... And these Imperial troops are largely infantry, so it's not advisable. Took his eye on and we got you in prison. Hey, you're coming to uh, retake this area for us? Oh, that's a problem. That disease is still spreading. Where did it come from? This uh, slow fever in our realm from Kastamon. Kastamon. There. It's a long disease. So that makes repositioning over there unlikely, but we can go up there. But we can't get them off the mountains. We refuse to go up there. I heard that you were going to lead an army of person. I didn't think you had the guts. I'm a bit scared to see that you survived and getting stronger. May we not meet in a duel, he says. Now I'm a trained fighter. More combat skill for me. Oh, this keeps getting worse. Yeah, they've been driven out of there because that disease isn't gonna isn't good for them. Halt! Are we gonna risk ourselves to take out this other large army? Because, don't go up there. We won't beat him to it. Uh, we will beat him to it. They'll arrive on the 21st. We'll arrive on the 14th. Ours will be locked in eight days, his will be ten. Oh, this will stop him. Blast. We just gotta get him to change directions. Oh, so we gotta keep him busy. Keep him up there. And let the attrition get him. Until they're weak enough. Of course, going up there will be a river crossing. Which is awful risky. Where are they? Oh, they're still on retreat. I forgot. They haven't left the area yet. Okay, once their movement is locked, ours is five days, theirs is eight days. Okay, let them go. Let the disease try to get them bit by bit. I mean, sure there's enough room for them, but... They'll be weakened by attrition. I mean, so are we, but we'll be reinforced in friendly territory. See? They're going down more. Oh, let's try this. Too late. Movement locked. We'll take the river crossing penalty, but... If that's the price I have to pay, so be it. The attrition has killed off a bit of their troops.
Although we'll have the supply, it's just, it's not going to do us any favors here. You know, disease and all. I hope that disease does not spread to Loristan. It's the only safe place we can go to. Is that your fresh ord? Current troops are still in, still getting together. Let the Persians retake those areas for themselves. My troops are performing with excellence and my chest is swelling with pride as we keep pressing forward. I turn my back to answer the, sol the call of a soldier nearby when there's suddenly a sharp pain in my eye. Gritting my teeth, I hear the enemy shouting, Stay down, you vile cow! I don't think so. My opponent looks nervous, his arm a little ill-fitting. I briefly contemplate asking about this another day. A moment later, I snap out of it, light in a fresh morning air, shot from my says instead. A staunch man is soon on the ground, groaning in pain. Gotcha. Shrewd is good. Now the disease has moved up to Baghdad. They didn't finish sieging. They're all moving. Don't worry, the supply is good, but we shouldn't be here. Hell, none of us should be here. They sure picked the time to go for a jihad for a disease that spreads from Persia to Bulgaria. It seems like their god favors them. And we may all we may all get sick of die at one point. Speaking of that. At least we captured a sheep, so that's valuable. Well. It's too bad we can't banish you. Because you'll be going to Herat. But nonetheless, more money for us. Look, we took your county, now you can both get on out of there. Meet us over here. Nestorian missionary. A story named um, Jamasp. Come on. Come on over. We accept a little payment. If any of us get sick, treat us. Just hope that disease doesn't come to Luristan. I mean, that's our best place to be supplied at. They're getting to work on it. Let's see. Still spreading. It's spreading through Iraq now. Even though that's Shia territory, not Sunni territory. Oh, get out over here. It's safe now. Come on up. It's too bad we don't have holy orders. All we have is our hope and courage and our commanders. Including veteran ones, which they'll all soon pass away, unfortunately. I ought to get you arrested again one of these days. But remember, despite all that, um, and the Persians will soon get uh, Kozistan again. 
Once it's under full control, then we'll have the war score increase for controlling all of Persia without enemy occupation. Persian Revolt troops. Where are you? They're on their way now. They're fully assembled and they're on the march. Be patient. Wherever they're going, wherever they are going, we'll be there. Well, meanwhile, we'll try to antagonize him and see, too, if I can get a black guard and try to stir up some trouble in his realm. Yeah. In fact, let's do that right now. The Jewish man, yes. Start a bit of trouble. Even though we could all also use sabotage problems, but our main priority is defense. Do not go on the offense to take some of these territories. I mean, it would be interesting, but no, we don't have that troop, so stay in friendly lines and we'll be reinforced. Wherever they're going to appear, we'll be there. And we'll try our best to get rid of them. They're still strong, but they got a lot of others to back them up. Good news. My brave knights have captured the targets of the crusade. Kozistan. I just nod my head, as in, good job. But you didn't finish it. They're going to be on their way back soon. So get ready. Alright, let's arrest her. Now you are banished. Here we go. Oh, gee, that ain't much of a retinue. Especially that we slowed the reinforcement rate. But they've uh, reset their siege again, you know. I mean, don't worry about it. If it ever gets fallen, it'll be easy to retake. Compared to down here, where the main front is. So I'm thinking, stick with us, or... Uh... I'm thinking perhaps they should go on their own initiative. Unlike these cognates, where... They're going back because other problems. They will not leave us, so. Stick with us. Hey, uh, which one's the event? Uh, spawn troops. You guys are still around, right? Mission for you. Drive these guys out of there. You'll be one. And you are to get rid of them. Take your holy warriors with you. They'll do a much easier job dispatching them. And on the center, it should be led by... Uh, of course. No, Zuzukan. I try my best to pronounce the, that... Odd soaked in name. Just wait, just wait for the current troops. You are made commander and you're going through disease territory? Good over that. Okay, we scared him out. But, in all honesty, uh... No, there's a river crossing. So, you know what? 75-year-old bastard, you're still around! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna catch them. Don't give them time to regroup. Don't get them get together.
Yeah, by all rights, you should not be up here. But Kirkuk is the easiest way compared to... There. You'll be there in a few days before you take a hit. Kirkuk is desert. Bit of river crossing, but small forces. Should catch these guys on a retreat. From now on, you're the raiders. I assume they're going to Kozistan now. To finish their siege. This way. Depending on how many though we come. Well, I don't venture off too far. You may want to go through Kremen Shah, then you'll be back with us. To deal with this. Actually, we should attack now. They're going that way. That's the one without a river crossing. But mind you, disease territory. September 11th. Okay. Again, this part of Iraq, neutral territory. She is not our enemy. Thousand, four thousand. Oh, I was thinking there's got to be a better way to try to, I don't know, sneak through and hit him from behind. Oh yeah, that's gonna get my spy master sick in the process since we're, you know, that close. Man. Can't move you yet. You'll be moved again in a month. And from where the disease originated, which, by the way, what was that place called again? Kastaman. Kastaman. Here. From where it originated, it's not ended. I think this is about as far as it goes. And Luristan is our safest place. Again, we don't have that much of a retinue. Those smaller forces is ideal. No, you idiot. And no, this doesn't speed it up either. Actually, just have none. What you should do is just... Hit them from behind, especially Imperial troops. Yeah, hit them from behind. So actually, get back over there. While we will be taking a scenic route. Financially, we're doing fine at the moment, uh, surprisingly, unless I want to go bounty hunting, which is risky, because I could die. <laughs> My son is eight. They changed course to Kozistan. Remember, through Avaz, Kozistan, it'll be fine, so we're gonna move on. We'll drive them out of there again before they have a chance to regroup. Well, meanwhile, they'll be dealing with smaller forces by uh, Konau. Actually, again, that area is desert. Do you want to risk it? Hit them where it hurts. We can be there and attack all of them. 
You know what? Let's do it. <laughs> Get the Holy Warriors with you. You are in command, Connell. While we will be attacking them, we don't need the Holy Warriors. They're outnumbered. And, uh, and, and Coruscant still has some time to deal with. Oh yeah, you're going through the Badlands. We call it that because severe depopulation in two of these areas. You might as well call them the Badlands. You'll be there on the 10th of October. Battle will start on the 4th. Oh, we're gonna trick them into coming here. I got a I got a plan. Since this would be a defense battle in the desert, actually, put my husband in there. We're gonna trick them into coming to the desert. They'll be there in five days. Be there in six. Fifth of October. Remember that. Stop. Hold here. They're not locked yet. Okay. Fine. Just keep tricking them into thinking we're coming up there. We'll be there on the 10th. All movement locked. <laughs> From now on, you're the one that's going to do the desert ambush since you get more of the defense. See, it applies to cavalry, not infantry. You may be outnumbered a little, but the holy wars are with you. Including my husband, who is the master of defense. Now, go down now. The ones who aren't assigned, we'll put you there. We got a lot of cavalry. Which one has the most of all the flanks? Obviously my center, but second most here. Yeah, the stampede leader will deal with that lot. And a small uh, cognate is with us. And a crown shot him will soon join our army. So that's why we decided to put the cavalry out there under their own command. They may take losses, but we may consider increasing the reinforcement rate, but it's going to hurt us financially. This will begin on the 13th. This on the 19th. This is going to be a two-part war, no doubt. That's their first, but reinforcers will be coming soon. No commanders there. Well done. Now focus on this battle. Oh, it's that man. He's their best commander. If we can only duel him and, or capture him, that would definitely hurt their war effort. On retreat now. My goodness, you killed everybody over there. Very effective. I'm glad we made the right move. Trick them into thinking to come in here and keep resetting the movements, and then, yeah, that's the best way. If the enemy is going towards you.
contributed 2% of the war score to that one. But now you're in a territory you wouldn't want to be in. Oh, that's 1%. Huh. Okay, go to Sinjar then. You're not going to fight them, they'll stop. But going through neutral territory, attrition, that's wishful thinking. Sadek, remember his name. In case if we capture him. Ah, oh, yes, the captain. Drakian band. He doesn't hold any territory. It was originally a Greek mercenary band. Then it was Jewish for a time. Okay. Tends to mix. It was you who hired him, right? Or was it the Caliph that hard? He did. Definitely keeping my bay here. So fine, we'll just retake this one holding then. Get back to Luristan. Maybe attack Sos down there soon enough. Yeah. Welcome to hell, huh? Talking to... Oh dear. What have we got ourselves into? But it's a uh, desert nonetheless. But the moon is not locked. I mean, you wanted to find good supply, but look no further. Sought it for once. You'll be reinforced. Just only 44. It's acceptable. So now we fully control Persia. But if we keep this war dragging on, the war score will keep going up. And so we're so we're gonna have the momentum now. Check back, Samarkand. What's going on over there? It'll be done in March 55. You know what? I'm willing to risk that. Now to organize an army to reduce that retinue maintenance cost because right now it's 24 gold a month under medium. And with that, give it a, give it a day. Oh, before we hit that, go on the offensive. I decided to. Go to Basel. Reason? His personal controlled county, and there's also a shipment of meat and wool there. If we can uh, take this territory, then it's possible we may loot those shipments as well. I mean, he's not a member of the Trade League. Highly suspicious, though, and, and that possess kind of gives it away. So you get a clue what he's a member of. Now it's 20 a month. But still, it's not so we try to full reinforce. What are they, nuts? Why are they coming down here? I have a bad feeling about this, but we're on the drive. 3,000 of them against us, that doesn't make sense. Unless there could be more on the way. Why you take up this small number of imperial troops? Got an idea? 
Uh, go to with this army. Since we're going to be on the offense here. Alright, we're here. Here in Baza. Nana, 71 years old. Why are you still around? Yeah, just let Curran link up with them and we'll take these guys out of all this. Well, you got a lot more coming to you. Hey. Sultan himself. If you can capture him, I mean, sure, it will not be the end of the war, but rather would be the end of him. You know, him being possessed and all. Plus him being emperor, too, there's no way we can ransom him, but if you do capture him, oh, we have plans for him. Don't you worry. What are you doing, attacking on your own initiative? It should be easy to take. He got away. Must have switched. So you really shouldn't be here. What's the quickest route? December 24th, December 27th, January 4th, 22nd, 24th, 22nd, back to St. John. And get them moving fast. Not going up there. Well, what? The, where the hell are they going? In this case, well, come on down here now. Remain in Lotusstown. I mean, I can understand them being up here. That's what you are for. This ragtag band of troops you got there. Be careful, you don't know what's out there. Check it. I got an idea. What you've done that before, back when we fought against uh, China. Put it here. Even though it only reveals one county, but should have placed it somewhere else. What I want. Putting all these counselors in different places. Matter of fact, there's nobody in Samarkand. Well, just there on Svoboda and the dark path. Everyone is elsewhere. In that case, continue with that work of taking out these smaller troops while we besiege the area. All them, on the other hand, they're going to be dealt with after. Out! Gotta ask for how. Take your best with you. Let's. I will spread the most vile rumors about him. So now he gets scandalous rumors, so people will turn against him. Yeah, there's plenty of vassals who don't like him. Or like him less, I should say. Like, right, look at him. He's highly suspicious. 
scandalous rumors. He's an evil person. He sickly worships Shaitan, or to us, Ariman. Yeah, we can pick them off uh, one by one. Let's see, these are retinas, right? Is Homs part of the war? Huh? Nope. He's not involved. These are just retinues. There they are. They're ready and waiting. They're trying to get together now. Come on down. This way. Taking our first holding. Yeah, we're going on the offensive now. We'll be reinforced by friendly soon. My acquaintance, Mayor Don Huang, was slain by him. Bounty hunting, where are you? Oh, get rid of them, they're in their way. They're not moving, they're just, just waiting to be reinforced. Captured Shiraz. Shiraz was never occupied by the enemy, was it? Mm -mm. That's related to the revolt. We took a bag of meats, which will eventually sell them to the trade league when whoever wants them. They're on the move again. We can block them here. If we can. Just get there fast. Jam shit. I didn't know that name is on the sogged in list of names. I'll keep that well in mind. Stupid idea. You're going in after him. Just try to test him. They're getting more reinforcements. What the heck? Anyways, get those two. Well, oh, not. Just hang on. It's awful risky to go after them like that. But they'll be reinforced more and more. Yeah, we don't have much incentive. Let the flank do the work. Build another one. That's the That's the bounty. Come on now. 
Oh, it was the dysentery that got you, not the fever. Oh, then. Stay in your position. When are you gonna be there? Oh, but then again, we lost our man. Glad you're still here, um, but we have someone better, I think. No, that's for the defender. I guess you. Even though it's against my better judgment. See what you got. So they'll be there on the 13th. We'll arrive on April 13th. Battle begins on April 13th. Their movement is locked. We're not going to get the armor. We're going to get that little one that's 197. That's who we wanted. We're just trying to stop them from reinforcing bit by bit. And you got Lightfoot Leader. Surprised nobody's ever taken a bag through the door through the uh, Strait of Hormos. Two days and done. We can go in after him if we wanted to. Najran. Not you. Oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> We're doing this again. Get that holy warrior who also knows how to defend well. Much like you. But you're not the one that's moving fast. But... Keep them going. Twelve days, us ten days. We're doing this again. Reset the movement. Make them think uh, we're coming ahead. Let's stop moving on the 28th. See, I told you we're making a lot more money. Halt. No, no, no. Wait for it. Movement locked. Hold your positions. <laughs> this is a desert. And our cavalry will fight even better in desert. Holy Warrior Flanker. Uh, unyielding Holy Warrior, which he'll do well in the defense. And same goes for him, he will bring inspiration. Wow, well, we got a few more uh, coming. I think you can handle it, can't you? Harufi Uprising. Let's see, who's that? Uh, that's the revolt, and that's the Harufi uprising. Okay. We may have a trail of enemies coming this way, but can't cut them off. As much as we liked to. But now, all I can say is, you raiders, look what you got yourselves into. Well, they'll say, don't worry. <laughs> Our cavalry is the very best. 3,000 
of the Kauri versus uh, nearly 4,000 of them and perhaps more. You're basically, guys, you lot are basically on a suicide mission. Good luck, boys. Oh, now there's 4,000 of them. Oh, it's these guys that are on a retreat from earlier battles, right? That's who they are. It begins today. Oh, no. They're Sheikh Sadiq, the best commander of their army. As you know, he's a Mujahid, which is a veteran. He knows the terrain. And he's a heavy infantry leader. If you, if any of you guys could kill him, great. But since they don't have commanders on the flanks, well, we have the defenders of the desert because our cavalry knows how to ambush. Most of the increase of trade is coming from the east since I'm in point of trade going. Let the soak flow. Alright. If we ever capture Sikh Sikh Zadi, I'll be sure to execute him. He's too dangerous not to be a left alive. He got away again. So it's only a matter of time before we meet him again. We only took nearly 250 losses. Yeah, treat to friendly lines. Guess through that. He got him again. Again, winning battles bit by bit helps a little, but what matters more is as long as we don't give them an inch of Persia. That's what matters here. Uh, meanwhile, we're taking their territory. More of it. And uh, Kufa would be next. We're not going to go all the way down there, Jason. That's too far from friendly lines. Since we make all the good money, you know. Full reinforcements. Retinue will be a much improved force than it was before. Oh boy. Gotcha. We're gonna have to get rid of these guys out of there. And lost my patience again. You'll be known as the dove. I thought I was gonna give you the choice, like, uh. I don't know. Well, we made plenty of money through these bag of meats. I told you that stuff helps. Thinking peace would be acceptable, uh, or I could alternatively uh, put realm of peace so nobody fights each other. 
I mean, we could do that right now. Because what Persia should be focusing on is to retake their holdings. Well, actually, that belongs to what I mean is that it won't work. No, no, leave it be. We'll handle that ourselves. It's a small force, anyhow. through disease territory again. Now we lose a bit of money, so it's manageable. Those are mercenaries from Zadar. Zadar, Croatia. Greco-Croatian mercenaries. Hell of a combination. Head here. If only you were a shield maiden. But nonetheless, unless you want to join the sand pit, two more to go. Now we got the sack of grain. You're the most disgraceful. Even though we're already rivals, but I want to keep the tag eyes to figure out how to get that empire into revolt and they'll split off from it. Sure, why not? They're not going for it. I mean, we could... No. That would require getting around them and then attack. Just wait until they take down one more holding. Then we'll bring their army to kick them out. Be patient. Even though I lost it twice. take all the holdings. Find a fast way to get up there. It's planes, Nana. That's your terrain. Victorious Crusaders. For Aquitaine. The Sword of the Lord. Unfortunately, we won't be there in time, and we'll have to retake that area. Good terrain, nonetheless. Go assist them on the siege. We'll take care of this. Stop them. Not enough room over there, so. In that case, we're taking over to siege. You guys go down there. Well. Actually, 
a new assignment. They shouldn't be up there, but clearly they are. They're going down this way. It's all mountains. They already took one holding up there. You're supposed to not to give them any itch of Persia to them. Chase them out is good. But they're gathering. Which isn't good. While well, you're at C2 if you can drive them out of there. Well, taking more holdings is good, but keeping Persia unoccupied, unoccupied from them is even better. While well, they still have no one. That guy. Could do more than that. Now he's a known demon worshipper. Expect a revolt to go off at any time. Because he's done too many evil things. We'll end the episode soon. We'll see the conclusion of this holy war in the next episode. After this battle. I'll stop this and hang the culprits. Weak leader. That hurts the morale of armies a bit. That ain't good. Oh no, there he is again. He's that brilliant general of theirs. Unfortunately, at least you were able to convert somebody. Try them. That's Estonia we were pointing out here. Sure, in a minute. Well, next episode. You're gonna have to retake that holding. Don't care how bad it is up there. But things are looking up. So we hope you join us in the next episode as this um, defense of Persia continues. As we will continue to defend until they either call off their war or or this gets um, bloody, but I hope more bloody on their end. Wait, more enemy troops could be on their way. But now they have a known demon worshipper in their empire, so let's just hope for the best for us, because that man is truly evil. And we need the Muslims in this realm to realize that he's evil and the need to revolt. Is he part of it? Yes, he's a part of it. Yes, that, and we'll have to deal with all parts of, of the front line. So now that they finally realize the Strait of Hormuz. But what we hope is for a re big revolt to break out, 
you know, no demon worship and all. So yeah, this war will continue as it's already been um, three years. So yeah, they struck back, but now it's our time to strike back. Although it's already going, but there'll be more of that in the next episode. Until then, so long for now.